Hi, this is Stu Powers, and now uh, we are ready to convert our MAW files to AVIs. Let's open up um, Super. This program is a very powerful encoder, and it really is super. I've been using this thing for years, and it has uh, done me well. Uh, but before I talk about um, Super, let's look at our MAW files and look at the properties of them. Uh, drag them into Super's um, down here and double click it and this will bring up the uh, properties of the clip. You have the general properties, video properties, and uh, the audio and uh, one and two, if, if there are two audios. Um, what I really want to see uh, is in the video section and it's the bit rate, the resolution, and the aspect ratio. Very important. Um, if that's, that's clip one, this is clip two, and the only thing I know that changes is the bit rate. So 1645 is the highest of the two bit rates. And that is something to keep in mind. Um, the bit rate here and the aspect ratio is set over here. Those are two things to keep in mind. But first off, let's talk about um, what uh, Super can do for us. Uh, we have multitude of different containers. Uh, same with uh, your uh, codecs for both video and audio. You have three encoders here. Uh, FFmpeg is uh, my choice. Um, it's the fastest and uh, most reliable. Um, MMcoder is my second choice. I've never used uh, Real Producer, or have had the need to, anyways. But you can play with it. Go for it. In this case, um, our settings: we have a video uh, section, an audio section, and then our output section. What we need are AVI files and uh, for vir virtual dub mod to be able to stitch them together. So we have to choose AVI as the container. Uh, we're going to choose XFID as the compression uh, codec and uh, MP3 as audio. And of course, FFmpeg is my choice for the encoder. In the video section, I want to make sure I keep the original uh, resolution. So I'm going to select no change and I'm going to force the aspect ratio to 4.3 so it stays the same as the original. I don't want any squishing or squashing of the video. And um, I'm going to choose a 23976 uh, frame rate, though the original, I believe, is 15 frames a second. Doesn't really matter too much. Just don't want to go any um, less than that. And um, I could do a 2997 as well. It doesn't really matter. Um, and of course, here our bit rate is 1632. You can, go up, you can go lower if you wanted to and go higher, but uh, we'll choose that. And um, and audio, we'll go with a 441 stereo, and I'm going to choose the 320, the highest, re um, highest bit rate for um, the audio. I could probably get away with 160 since I know um, this is this only dialogue on these MAW files, um, but I'll go with the highest one so later on if I want to um, down convert I'm not going to be losing anything. At this point though with everything set we're ready to go and code. I'm not going to make you sit through that. Um, each uh, On my system each clip will probably take about 20 minutes. Uh, they're 45 minute clips. Uh, I'm running a quad core 3.3 with 8 gigabits. If you're running something similar or um, or less or more uh, it will vary. So let's, uh, in the next part, let's uh, stitch them together. All right, now that we have converted both our MAW files to AVIs, we're ready to combine them. We're going to use a program called Virtual Dub Mod. It's based on Avery Lee's Virtual Dub, and it's a very quick program. Uh, let's choose our first clip and drag it in. Go up to File, Append Segment. Choose our second clip. Uh, then go to File, Save As. Uh, we're going to use the name that I've already used because uh, I've already run through this. Um, down in Video Mode, this is very important. Make sure you have Direct Stream Copy selected. Otherwise, you'll end up encoding or recompressing um, uh, the f uh, video clips. Uh, we don't need to do that. It takes too much time. It's a waste of time, in fact. You'll get uh, less resolution. So then hit save. And yes, I do want to replace it. 
and you can see that it's only going to take about 20 seconds or so here. Now, uh, this program and Virtual Dub itself um, are great programs to have on hand um, if you do any kind of video editing. In this case, you can see how quick it uh, work it made of combining two video clips. So now that is completed, and that uh, completes our tutorial on converting combining video clips. Uh, hopefully you learned something, something you can use, and thank you for viewing. Hope to see you next time.